Good afternoon, everybody. It's September 14th. Remember when we were trying to clean up the wheat and I said there was rain coming? Well, it's raining. And it's been a pretty dang good steady rain at that. Um, been having a few issues with the D450, just with the header leveling. We're gonna try a few different things. It's been hanging lower on one side. and We're having some calibration issues too. Um, uh, must be a faulty sensor or some wiring, but Skyler was here and uh, he was trying to help us. He's a JD tech. He's trying to help us with this and he did do a good job um, Out here in the rain, but you know what we're soaked we're cold and other than literally starting to chase wires on our hands and knees under there We're like I'm like just leave it. You know what? It's raining We need to carry on I need to carry on and no one wants to be out here. So but what we did do is we had to, if I can't slip off here, fall on my head. We needed to change this bracket out here. This is a new bracket, the sensor. And uh, put a new sensor on as well. But we can't get that to calibrate even though it's a new sensor. There's gotta be some wiring issues, which doesn't surprise us. So uh, we'll have to deal with that here at a little later time. But right now we wanna try to do some swathing if we can. So. I've been having a lot of trouble getting that swath out the hole here. And I've been, you know, you can tell it's hanging low on that side and cutting high on this side. But you know what, we're gonna try it here. I'm gonna try it again. I'm just gonna run and grab my lunch. Don't slip off here. It's actually preferred to swath in the rain is what I'm told. That way you just shell less canola out. So, yeah, things are coming along. Okay, so uh, my floor was so nice and clean here and uh, unfortunately it is not. Uh, and it really pains me, but it is what it is. I've got my lunch kit here. I gotta pour myself a nice hot cup of joe here because I'm cold. We've been sitting out there working on this for the last hour or more in a steady rain and it's only like eight degrees. So, All right, Ugh. I need my heated seats. We don't have one in here, but it is what it is. Okay. We're just going to uh, straddle this swath and head back to where we left off here. That's the plan. Yeah, we made about, oh gosh, we didn't even make one pass. It's not even a quarter mile. And, uh, uh, no. Played around with my hydro flow pressures, sense uh, pressure, and uh, so on. And for whatever reason, this side, I don't know if the cylinder over there is weak. If you say you want to have it on a, like a lot of pressure, make it hard, they make those cylinders hard. You set it down and it would go down like this and then it just lets go on that left side. So obviously there's gotta be a problem over there. We haven't just figured out exactly yet what it is. I'll probably have it figured out by the time you guys get to this video, but uh, it's great swathing right now because it's wet and it's rainy and it's only going to be raining today and I really would like to swath but unfortunately it's just not happening. I'm just making a mess out here. The problem, the reason why is because I'm dragging this side in the dirt. Well, not in the dirt but it's hanging low and uh, there's just too much crop out here to take all the straw. I need to cut like a foot off the ground to take less straw to get it out this hole. And I can't do that with this one because this one's low and this one is hanging way up in the air. And you'd think it would kind of work out. You know, you think that split the difference would still work out? No, it doesn't. Just making a mess. So we're not out here to make a mess. This is in Vigor Canola. So in theory, you can straight cut it. But I've said that you can straight cut barley too. You can straight cut wheat as well and a lot of guys do it and I did do it. But I would like to finish before November if possible so I would like to put this stuff in a swath and just have it die and then get cracking. Yes, you can spray your canola. A lot of guys do that. About 50-50 in this area. I have asked around and everyone kind of tells me about 50%. Half the people swath straight cut their canola after they desiccate it obviously 
and then the other half still swathed their canola. And it does depend on your varieties, like that next arrow, that needs to be swathed. There's no shad powder, no, no shad, shad, oh my goodness. There is no uh, seed pod integrity with that next arrow, so it will just blow apart and lose all of its seeds when it gets ripe and it gets a wind. This stuff is, well, it's bred to kind of keep it in. You actually have to thrash it out with a combine, you know. So anyway, it's 50-50. So I actually wanted to do both. I wanted to lay some in a swath and I wanted to straight cut it, you know, and then try the best of both worlds and see what works best for the operation, for our operation. But I've only made one round around this stuff and I'm just having a terrible time. So I think we're just going to... This thing is loud, eh? And it's only on... It's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. So I guess it doesn't have to be screaming away. That's better, eh? Now you can actually hear what I'm saying. So we demoed that uh, W170, uh, which is basically the Mac Deer, Mac Don painted green, because it's actually a Mac Don Swather with John Deere technology in it. And I think it has a John Deere engine as well. Um, we demoed that last year, Ashton and I did. Actually on this very field, we had barley here. But this was the year we really needed to demo it because of this canola. So I called around to see if we could demo one, but of course everyone's thinking the exact same thing and everyone's trying to swath. It's hard to get demos when it's swathing season, just like it's hard to get combine demos in the middle of harvest season. So that's understandable. I get that 100%. So either Mike's going to have to get his case sprayer out here and start spraying this stuff, which I don't really want to do because I don't really want to leave tracks. Yes, you can get a plane, but or we keep fighting with the swather or we try and figure out some other options. So. Yeah, I don't have all the answers. All I know is this is a perfect day to swath and I would love to keep going, but. Yeah. That's farming. That's farming. Okay, we just parked here. Um, let's just run out here and take a look at some stuff. It's really raining out here. It's starting to get a little bit muddy. So like this shock, this cylinder actually compresses super easy where the other one stays rigid. The other one stays rigid and this one goes whoop right up. So I'm no mechanic. Everyone knows Mike is no mechanic, but I would probably start there. Um, whoo, wow, it is wet. The crop is pretty good. You know, the crop isn't like a crazy rank crop, you know, like, yeah, it looks good, but it's probably only on the average, well, it's a little tall in ways, it's probably rib cage height when you actually, because it's got a bit of a lean to it, right? If you're actually propping up. The reason why I want to put it down is because you got all those low spots like that are a little green and it's just better, just easier if if you can just hop in with the combine and just carry on. You don't have to go around any sloughs. Okay, it's pouring. Yeah. Yeah, nice talk and it's time to get... <laughs> okay, we're shutting her down. I'm going to get my truck dirty, getting out of here. All right, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. We'll see what we do, whether we uh, keep fighting with it, we'll work on that header. The header is only a part of the problem. It's a pretty heavy crop, I have trouble getting it out. Um, but anyways, we'll see what we do. Maybe we just spray and cut it straight. Maybe we don't spray it at all and just let her come in naturally, cut it in October. Um, maybe we look at some different swather options. Who knows? Pro that's probably not an option. Well, chances are we'll straight cut it. But if I was a guessing man, that's probably what we'd do. But I'm wet. I'm cold. 
I'm soaked down to my underwear and had way more information than you needed to know. So that's the Swather update for now. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Adios amigos. All right, I forgot to actually show you. I wanted to actually show you, I forgot, here. Okay, this is flat ground. Oh, shh, it's mucky. Um, right here, you can see, don't worry about this. This is from the crop divider pushing it over. I need the shears. So this is really low. Then this is the right-hand side, which is over there, right here. Like it's up to my elbow. It's up to my knee here. Let's run across over here. Ah, right on the ground. See? Flat on the ground, sorry. Flat on the ground here. It's leaving two feet over there. So that's what we gotta get sorted out. Um, that isn't normal. Hopefully we have that sorted out by the time that this video actually comes out to you guys. You, otherwise, you guys, try this, try that, did you try this? Chances are I haven't yet. So I look forward to trying those things. But you can't take this much straw and expect to get it out the hole. I need to leave that much over here as well if I have any hopes of getting that out the hole without just having your reel munching it in trying to push it out meanwhile you're shelling it all out like crazy right so pretty evident um lots of straw sorry i'm having zoom problems in the rain zero straw like we're leaving two to three inches here right just cutting right on the dirt and of course once it gets muddy it'll start pushing dirt and mud and it's just a all around really bad deal so no worries we'll get it figured problem is is we're pushing our deadlines already for the canola like it's getting it's getting ripe like we're 90 percent already seed change uh seed color change and it's start it's going to get hot again it's going to get nice and warm don't really want to be swathing ripe canola uh well the majority of it ripe canola when it's nice and warm problem is the reason why we're swathing because you're like, well, Mike, why don't you just let it all stand? You're practically right already. Well, that's what I would think too, and we might, but there's lots of low spots like over there where I cut, where I pointed it out, lots of low spots because we're very potholy that are dark green. So uh, it looks good, but it's a long ways away from straight cutting, a long ways if without being desiccated. And chemical these days, as you guys know, isn't cheap. So... Like I said, just, just for me to go out and spray this canola, that'd probably be 30, 35,000 in just chem. That's not me going to do it. That's nothing else. That's not fuel. That's not tracks. Tracks are a lot of money. Uh, that's just chem. And do I really want to spend that in just chem? Not really. So we'll see how it all shakes down. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys get the idea. This is farming. If it's not me, this is stuff that every farmer deals with. Maybe they're not dealing that th with a swather, but maybe they're dealing with combine, air drills, sprayers, or swather, who knows? Grain trucks, that's farming 101. Things happen, and you just gotta roll with the punches and figure it out. Sorry you guys probably can't see nothing. I'll let you go. Adios, amigos.